In this video series, we'll be looking at all the elements that make up the hire to retire process, all brought together by Access Workspace. One unified HRS platform, one connected team. Okay, so now let's start talking about our forms and workflows within People HR. There's two different types of workflows that you can run, one of them being interactive. The other one is actually a background ripple. Um, so you can actually set up background tasks within People HR and um, have them do pretty much whatever you want them to do, whether it's reminders. Um, so to give you an example, it could potentially be a reminder for people to update their working with children's check um, or their forklift license, or it could be a COVID certificate as well. So really the background ripples help um, to get rid of some of that unnecessary tedious tasks and follow-ups that you may have as a HR professional, you know, asking questions around, um, you know, why don't you have, uh, um, you know, these specific forms updated within your personal file. You can just let the system do all of that for you, which is great. So just to give you a quick example of how these forms actually link uh, to the system and how it links to different personal information, how you can actually report on this information, let's just quickly click on one background ripple that we have here. And this is just a very simple uh, confirmation email that you might want to set up. But to give you a, a much deeper example, what we can do is we can add multiple steps to each workflow. So the first step that we have on this one is one we want to check a logbook action to see that it has been completed. And earlier on, I showed you where the logbooks sit, but I'm going to go into these a little bit deeper because the logbooks and uh, the logbooks actually tie in very well to our automated workflows and they go hand in hand. So what happens is, is the system is now checking whether this logbook has been actioned and completed. And the next step is here is that if it has been completed, let's give that person a thanks. Right. So a thanks is a way of doing some great employee recognition within People HR, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a sec. But what you can do from here as well is we can actually add another step, and that step could potentially be a go to step. So, for example, if that check logbook action hasn't been completed, we can go to that specific step. So, what we've done here is let's just move that to this area here. So, now this is what we've done now. So the first step is we've checked whether that logbook has been actioned. If that logbook hasn't been actioned, we can set up either another step such as an email to remind people to make sure that they've you know, completed their tax file form. Um, and again, if they haven't done that after that reminder, we can create a go to step and it can go back to step one. So you're creating that endless loop of reminders for your employees. And again, you might want to, you know, have it every four business days, every week, however often you want to remind your employees to complete the information until it's been actioned and completed as well. Once that has been completed, let's give that employee a thanks to complete that they've completed the information. So again, you can see how you can slowly start building on these workflows and they go hand in hand with our logbook functionality. So to quickly touch on the logbook again, a little bit deeper, your logbook is pretty much a way of adding and populating important employee information um, when it comes to, uh, you know, that is related to that employee's um, role. So from here, you can actually create as many different logbooks as you'd like. It could be a training logbook. So for example, uh, we might want to add a training logbook and we can see here, this is something that we have populated ourselves and you can start building on this even more. So you have, again, different types of formats that you can populate on. Um, so, you know, so for example, it could be a progress bar, a date field, um, a text box, a drop down menu. And then again, you can start adding uh, any necessary files that are related to that logbook. So again, just wanted to stress the power of this. Pretty much any sort of information that you can add within these logbooks. It could be a working with children's check. Um, it could be any sort of qualifications that you might want to have. Again, you can customize it to have it uh, have whatever you want it to have. And this ties into your background uh, workflows, which I just showed you. And another thing that it actually these logbooks tie into is our reporting functionality, which is our queries tool. So now the queries tool is a great way of running um, important um, and um, uh, detailed reports. 
We also have our reports functionality at the top. This is just more of a visually friendly way of, of visualizing the information that you have within People HR that you might want to share um, across presentations in your organization. But the queries tool is a much more powerful way of running these reports. So in order for us to actually link and create a, a background workflow, we also need to run a report. So for example, let's run a, a background workflow, um, a background report on people that haven't filed their tax file number declaration. So we want to slowly start populating on this and we can see here that all of the logbooks that we have added during our process are available here as well. So once we click on each field, you'll be able to report on it. So again, as long as the information is available and is added as a logbook, you can report on this information. That's the power of reporting within People HR. So what you can do from here is you can filter out anything that contains or excludes specific information. But let's not worry about that for now. Um, and for this, we're going to call this TFN report 2022. We can save it to a specific category. We might only want the admins to access this, and this is where we get all of our results. From here, what you can do is you can save it as a report within People HR. You can export it to Excel as a CSV or an Excel file. You can set reminders, say, once a week for you to run this report so you're not left doing the same report over and over again. But you can go you can actually go a little bit deeper and each column you can drag to the side here and create charts off of that information as well. So this is just another great way of reporting on the information that you have within the system. Now again, just to recap, your background ripples and your background workflows, in order for you to remind your employees to complete a task, it needs to have an information uh, source it needs to feed from, right? So that source in this instance is our logbook. So as long as there's a logbook, we can check if it's been actioned. And as long as there is a logbook, we can also report on that information as well. So that's a little bit around our workflows and forms and how you can actually have all of these processes within People HR tied in. And um, the possibilities are really endless when it comes to letting, allowing the system to do all of the uh, tedious um, and automated and the tasks that really should be automated within your organization um, for you. Want to learn more? We'll ask your account manager for other videos in this series, including onboarding, performance management, learning management, employee self-service, employee recognition, and how you can create custom forms and workflows, all using Access Workspace. One unified HRS platform, one connected team.